Roses are red. Violets are blue. I hate this meme. Fuck you. Honestly, I'm at a point in my life where I've never hated memes more. They saturate everything with their bland, unimaginative and pandering humour. However, there's one meme that's managed to significantly piss me off recently. I don't even know if this meme has a name, but I'm going to refer to it as the Roses Are Red meme. The meme involves taking the first few lines of the Roses Are Red poem, then finishing it with a screen cap of some sort of article or video title that rhymes along with it. Honestly, the first example I found of this meme I liked. It was harmless and not nearly as loud or obnoxious as the millions of other disasters memes shat out daily. It's red. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Sainsbury's chocolate chip cookie review. And you know what? That works. But it didn't take long for the shit to take over and completely bastardize this meme. People seem to forget that for the fucking meme to work, or at least be palatable, the last line needs to have around 10 syllables. Like, how could you fuck that up? It's the most basic shit. But no. Now I get horrendous garbage like this syllable packed monstrosity. Roses are red. Sugar is used to sweeten. Gordon Ramsay's dwarf porn star lookalike found dead in a badger den half eaten. <laughs> like, is the world fucking stupid? Here you've taken a meme, something that takes practically no talent to produce, and somehow used even less talent to shit out this half assed attempt at it. And yet this can get thousands of likes and retweets on Twitter. Why? Do people just not care anymore? Has internet content become so vapid and broad that people will flock to the most mundane and poorly produced shit because of the lol random factor, or lol relatable? For me, it defeats the purpose of the dumb meme, which was to take something obscure and weird that coincidentally had the right number of syllables to fit in the roses are red poem formula. And on the topic of terrible memes, don't even get me started on these abominations of content. content. Yeah, you really added a lot with that caption of the three emojis. I never thought there'd be a time when something as stupid and uncreative as memes would actually lose creativity. First, there was the when memes. Look, as completely irritating as rage comments are, at least they took some creativity. Someone had to create some sort of narrative, not to mention draw it, and they're practically fucking art compared to the when memes. I call them the when memes because they all seem to start with when. It just involves taking some random reactionary photo and sticking a mildly applicable caption to it. It all falls into the lol relatable category. People get hundreds of thousands of likes on this kind of crap. And then people who put hours of work into their content get almost zero recognition because oh, it wasn't loud and flashy enough. There was no one with a wig on being loud or an obnoxious voice shouting some stupid catchphrase. Damn. Damn. Then we get to this point where even a creative caption is too much to fucking ask. Instead, let's take someone else's thing and add a purely reactionary caption on it. It's the image equivalent of a reaction video. God help us. You know what? Let me leave you with my own fucking poem. <clears throat> Roses are red. Memes are the worst. If you share them on Facebook, then I'll unfriend you first.